Hey guys, God Level here. Today I'm going to show you a quick way to set up your follow, donation, and uh, subscription alerts using Streamlabs. This is going to be a quick tutorial, so I'm not going to be going through a bunch of details. Basically, I'm just going to show you how to set it up quickly. Feel free to customize and, and take time with it so you can have really something that fits you. First thing we'll have to do is go on the Streamlabs webpage. So go to your favorite browser and type streamlabs.com. Once you're in there, click login and you will need to log in with Twitch. Okay, now we are in Streamlabs. This is the dashboard. It will show you all the activity that you basically had. First things first, we are going to set up our donation settings. So click on the donation settings tab. Once you're here, you will want to um, click on the PayPal tab and it will ask you to enter your PayPal info. I already have mine set up, so it's gonna look different. Once you're done, click OK, and then you should have a uh, status connected and your PayPal email right here. Users are also able to tip you via credit card, unit pay, but honestly, you don't need all of that. PayPal should be fine. If you scroll down, you will see a bunch of settings as in the currency, the donation page currency, the minimum amount, the suggested amount, and uh, you will have your page, your donation page, basically. And I will show you mine right now. First thing it does, it, it takes your Twitch header and puts it up there. And here your viewer can put his name, his donation amount, and his message. You can customize your donation page's uh, background right here. I have mine on this texture that is repeated in a pattern. So once you have your donation page set up, you can come back to uh, the stream label page. And as I said, I'm not going through each and every point, so feel free to play around with those customizations. Now your donation settings are good to go. You need your alerts to work. This is the alert tab. So click on alert box. So if you do not know how alert works, basically you will have a different tab that is open with a green screen. Your alerts will show on this green screen and you're gonna screen capture that and edit out the green using a filter in your streaming program. So I'm gonna open OBS. I'm going to give you an example uh, with OBS right now. So here we are in OBS and we're going to add our alert box. I'm going to click add, go to window capture because we need to capture the, the alert bo box window. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it alert box. And if you click here, you can select the tab that you want to capture. In this case, the alert box. Now that you have your alert box on the screen, you can resize it. I'm going to make it full screen just for the sake of it. And then here I'm going to add a filter. So add a Chroma key. Chroma key is a filter that generally um, removes all bright green from your image or your video. And as we can see, all the green is gone. So I'm going to click close. This is my OBS. This is the alert tab. And I'm going to test follower alert. So this is how it's going to show on my stream. So this also works for donations and host and bit alerts because everything is in the same alert box. Okay, now you have your alert box uh, captured in your streaming program. I'm just gonna show you the customization tabs. So if you scroll down, you will see alert settings. This is the general alert settings. And then you'll have follows, subscription, donations, hosts, and bits so you can set a different alert system for each and every one of those so let's click on the follows and you will see here you can enable disable them choose the layout the animation and um, which uh, what image you want to show you can actually put a link from a giphy gif that's what I did I think and also the sound it has to be a dot OGG file so watch out for that I'm not gonna go in depth in it but it has to be an OGG file. You can set up the volume, the alert duration, the alert text delay, the font settings and everything. Okay, now let's move to the donation tabs because this one is quite important. So we have the same type of uh, customizations, but we also have the text to speech where you can enable it, disable it, um, put in the minimum amount of, of money you want it to, to read off to um, the language of the voice, basically uh, the spam security, the volume, and now you can set up the minimum amount to alert the template message for mine. I think I just have the name of the, the viewer donated the amount for my follows, though. I have um, the name of the viewer, 
followed by is now part of the family. You can put whatever you want here. It's the message template. Now that we have our alerts uh, set up, we need one last thing to be, um, to be good to go. And that is the stream labels. So if you've ever uh, wonder how can a broadcaster show who is the most recent follower without having to retype the names over and over again, well, they have basically a little app that's going to track down the activity and that's going to do that for you. So what you're going to do is click on download stream labels. Here it should say add to Chrome. I already have it. So it's just asking me to, uh, to launch it. Once you get there, it's going to ask you to um, log in with your Twitch account, which I'm going to do right now. And here it will show you all the activity that's been going on with your account, with your Twitch account. Um, what you want to do straight away is choose an output directory. I already have mine right here. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you something. So those are logs. And those are text files that contain all this information. So monthly top donator, um, most recent subscriber, um, session top donator, total follower count. And if you want to show all these messages, um, this is where you will find the information. Now, if you want them to show on your stream, you will need to add a new text. Call it whatever you want. I would usually call it like um, recent follower, for example. And here, instead of typing your own text, you will want to read from file and choose your file that corresponds to your most recent follower. So I'm going to go in logs and click most recent follower. And here it will display my most recent follower. So as long as you have your Streamlabs open while you're streaming, it's going to update all those files automatically, basically. So if someone were was to follow me right now, the name would change automatically on my stream and I don't have to retype anything. So this is how um, those displays work. If you're having any trouble um, with stuff not updating, you can click here, restart session or log out and log back in, but you should be fine. Um, I've never had any problems with it. So that's it. That was a tutorial on how to quickly set up your follow, donation, host, bits, alert using Streamlabs. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask them in the description below and I will answer them. Gail out.